Kitty. Today I am doing a collab with Kitty J Havoc and we have decided we are going to try and dupe the Urban Decay Honey palette because when I saw it I thought oh, it doesn't look that interesting it's mostly just brown and then I started seeing people do some looks and some swatches and I thought well, actually I quite like it but I'm pretty sure I'd have those shades they're just not all together in one palette. <laughs> So I thought it would be interesting to have a go duping this palette. And I was talking to Kitty and I said, oh, what do you think of this palette? And she said, I'm weirdly attracted to this palette. And I said, I am too. <laughs> so we decided we would do this collab together. If you're wondering what I've got on my eyes today, I'm actually wearing the Colourpop It's My Pleasure palette. And I'm wearing, on my lips, I'm wearing the melting pelt pelt melting pelt 100 from covergirl it's got jelly britney written on the back but is that the name of it uh, it is yes because this one is gel yes so they do they do have a name i really like this one one two five gel yes it's just it kind of goes on like a it's, like a stain but it's a lipstick because it like it comes off on your finger but it gets it gives it kind of a stain look but it feels nice and moisturizing at the same time and i kind of like them so that's why i brought the brown one because i wanted a brown one <laughs> now kitty is one of my favorite people here on youtube and i love her sense of humor and i'm always She's always saying, oh, I talk too much, I'll fast forward through this bit. And I'm always saying, no, talk. We, <laughs> I love listening to you talk and you always make me laugh. And <laughs> I really enjoy watching you, Kitty. So um, she, her sense of humour really appeals to me. But also I can be cheeky back and she knows what I mean. Because sometimes my sense of humour can be quite sarcastic. And sometimes people actually don't realise I'm being funny. So <laughs> Kitty always gets that I'm being funny, which I really like. <laughs> and she hasn't been doing YouTube that long, so if you haven't checked out Kitty, then definitely go and check her out, and I'll leave her channel listed down below, and I will also put it up in the cards for you, so that you can go and check her out. She's well worth the effort. And she does quite a few collab videos, and because my memory is like Swiss cheese, <laughs> it's full of holes. <laughs> um, I can't quite remember, but I think I found her through Kaylee Wesley, who is another one of my favorite people on YouTube. I'm pretty sure that's where I first saw her. So I'll link Kaylee down below too, because they're just wonderful to watch and they're wonderful to listen to. They will chat, real people, and um, Kitty will talk back to you in the comments and chat with you in and she's just a lot of fun so she does lots of collabs that's what I was saying before <laughs> she does lots of collabs and she she does lots of um like first impression kind of videos with new palettes that she gets um she tries not to buy too much makeup but um sorry kitty I feel like you're failing <laughs> You, you do buy a lot of makeup <laughs> you're really attracted to all those palettes <laughs> and I am too but living so far away shipping is what gets me so that stops me from buying a lot of stuff because it's like by the time you add in um, exchange rate and then shipping it's like no I'm not spending that much money on a palette <laughs> so I, I feel like if I lived in America like Kitty I would probably buy a lot more <laughs> And she does Chitty Get Ready With Me. So well, she's done three of them. And I really like those because I like listening to her chatting. <laughs> and she she does a few tag videos. And she's been doing what she calls the makeup lust list. Where she shows makeup that she would like to get. But not necessarily is going to get. And she's done doing multiple looks with one palette as well. And as I said, she hasn't been doing it that long, so go and support her and show her some love and tell her 
that you came from me if you hit or just go and show her some love because she deserves it <laughs> so first of all i had to try and drip this shades and this turned out to be a lot harder than i thought seems to be a running theme and when i think oh yeah that won't be too hard to dupe and then it turns out a lot harder than i thought so i don't know whether i was being too fussy about how i was doing it or or what and there was one shade that i couldn't quite figure out from watching other people's videos that were testing out the palette exactly what color it was because it seemed to be different on different people's videos so i'll tell you about that one when i get to it so the first color in the honey palette was a um like a slightly satin white one person said it had a bit of a um kind of a yellow tint to it but everyone else just said it was a satin white so i chose this one here in the jules rock palette from magnify eyes and so it's a it's a slightly shimmer white with a little bit of a yellow sheen. I went with that because since it was a honey themed palette. So that one in the honey palette is called Flyby. So this is my version of Flyby. And then the next one is a pale matte with a slightly more pink look. Whereas the one after that has got a slightly more yellow orange look is the way that it's been described in the various videos i've watched so the next one is called sweet <coughs> i have to consult my notes to figure out which one it was and i went with this revolution sofix palette one called iced coffee so this one here so it's a, basically my skin tone So you can just see that there. <laughs> and so the next one is also a light matte, but it's more of a, a yellowy, orange, yellow. When people brush it out on their eyes, it shows up a lot more orange than in the, just in the tin, in the palette. <laughs> I'm really having trouble with words today and I filmed a, when I did this look earlier this morning, I was having trouble with words this morning as well, so it must just be the day. Um, yeah, so in the palette, it looks quite pale yellow and I'm going with the I Heart Revolution Mermaid Heart palette. So I'm going with this colour here, was that the colour I was using? But when you swatched it, or when they swatched it, or when they blended it into their eyes, it looked pale orange. So that's what I ended up going with. So that one was called Swarm. The first three. I'm kind of doing them far apart, so I'm going to need to squash them up a bit, otherwise I'm going to run out of room on my arm. And then the next one was called Amber. And that was a shimmer. And it looks like a, a quite a dark gold or dark, like a light brown dark gold with a more yellowy shift. So surprisingly enough, I actually ended up in here for that one. And this one, which looks quite dark in the pan, But it has that, it has the brown, but then with that yellow, really yellow shift shine to it. And I thought that was pretty close, actually, from what I could see online. I don't know whether Kitty will, but Kitty said she was going to try and go in and swatch it in store. I can't do that here because I haven't got anywhere that sells it in store. So she might have a better idea of what it, what this shades actually look like 
than I do. And then the next one, oh, that was called Amber in the Honey palette, so that's my version of Amber. And then the next one is a light mustard. So for that, I got the BYS color out of the Rebel palette, and this is called Edgy. This was a um, limited edition, so but it's basically just a mustard. Now, in some of the things that I saw, this looked mustard, like a honey mustard color, and other ones it looked kind of orange, so I went for the more mustard, because I wanted to go more honey than orange. Because it depends what screen you're looking at and whose video you're watching, and I watched quite a few to try and figure it out. These two are very close in colour, which they also were in the swatches I saw. This one just being a bit lighter, and this one being a bit darker. And so that one was just called Keeper in the Honey palette. And next we had one called Golden, which is a dark gold, basically. <laughs> And for that one, I used the Zodiac Love Signs palette. Which I actually took out of the Zodiac palette <laughs> and stuck it in my little individual one. So this one here, which was the Cancer colour from the Love Signs palette. So this is a lovely gold. I'm so rubbish at swatching, but <laughs> that's it there. So it's it's definitely gold, and I would call that a real sort of honey gold. That one. So that one, that one was called golden. I think I told you that anyway. The next one is the honey palette. That was one that's right in the middle. That's that bright yellow one, and I decided to go with Classy Cake Cosmetics with Calla Lily for that one. So this one is very yellow. Definitely that high impact yellow kind of colour. Now, Queen is the next colour. It was a weird one. I didn't have anything quite right, and I had to mix a couple. So it looks like a, a kind of a brassy, shimmery brown with a bit of a green shift. So I've had to I've had to mix two together. So I got the one from the Solar Flare, Solar Flare palette from BH Cosmetics in Ozone. So this was sort of the the base of the colour there. But of course you don't get any of the greeny shift in that one. So then out of the Sofix palette from Revolution, I got Pine Tree, which is very green, which is too green. But if I just add a little bit of that into it, I get that little bit of a green shift. Can you see that? So I get the that brownie, brassy undertone with just a tiny bit of green shift in it. So that's what I was after. And that one was called Queen in the palette. I added a little bit more green so you could see it a bit more on camera. Be careful not to add too much of the green or it goes too green. So that was that was quite a tricky one. I had to play with that one a bit to get it right. And then the next one was called Hive. This was the one that I got out of the Colourpop Honey palette. So it was just a, a warm matte brown. But a bit darker than these mustardy colours. So in um, in the videos I was watching, that one was a very close dupe to the other one, which to Hive in their palette. So, and then next we have Drip, which is another brown. 
then I decided to go with the Revolution Tammy X palette in Nutmeg, this one down here, which doesn't quite look like it looks in the pan. This one was darker than this one, but just with a little bit more of a red tone to it. Not a really red tone, but more red toned than this one. So I thought that was pretty close. So that was my version of Drip. And then the next colour is the one that I had trouble figuring out what colour it was because some people described it as like a peachy bronze and then in other pictures that I saw of it, it was a lot more dark than what it looked in some and so I wasn't really 100% sure what the colour was. So in the end I went for the Aurora Lights. I went, I went darker in the end so I went with 24k. I could have gone lighter but I decided to go darker. So it was kind of like a bright kind of bronzy colour and I'm not sure if that one's quite right it might um, not be qu have quite that enough of that kind of caramelly darker browny shift in it but I, c I couldn't quite get my head around what that colour was but I think that was fairly close and then the last colour was a brown, a dark brown. Hang on, what was that other colour called? That was called BHIC in the Honey Palette. And the last one is called Sting. And so I got from the California Love Palette from Colourpop Mission, which is a nice dark brown, but it's a warm dark brown because a lot of the dark browns had quite a ready undertone so I wanted something a bit warmer. So there is my dupes for, oh, my swatches are so weird, hang on, is that better? <laughs> Not really but whatever, but <laughs> so there are my swatches for my version of the honey palette. And now we should do some looks with it. Because to me, that's the real test. You can dupe it as well as you can. And if you have enough colours to get the flavour of the palette, then when you do some looks with it, you can then say to yourself, actually, I really like that palette. Or actually, I don't need that palette. Or actually, I wish this palette had some other something in it because it's falling short and to me that was really useful when I did the Natasha Denona gold palette when I realised actually I'd rather have a palette that had a lot more turquoise in it than just those dark two turquoises that the gold palette had so, so that's why I want to do some looks as well. So for the first look I'm going to start off with this colour here from the Mermaid's Heart palette. Then I'm going to go in with this one here which was the one from the Colourpop Honey palette called Buzzkill. And then I'm going to go in with the dark brown which is also a Colourpop one from Californian Love Palette and that was in Mission. And I'm going to use some brown liner. So 
So I just mixed some of that dark brown eyeshadow with my ink clot draw a line and put it, just drew the wing a bit more so to make it more precise. Now this is where I need a yellow eyeliner for my waterline which I haven't got and I don't fancy putting the draw a line in my waterline because I suspect it might sting. So I'm just going to use an orange one and then go over it with some yellow from the palette. And then I went over it with can the cancer sign from the Love Signs BH Zodiac palette because it wasn't showing up very well. It probably won't stay in my waterline anyway because nothing really stays in my waterline very well. And then I think I'll go back into that cancer one and which brush should I use? And use this little flawless beauty accent eye brush. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Kella Lily from the Classy Cake Cosmetics to just pop a little bit of the really bright yellow right on that inner corner. Okay, I think I still want it a little bit brighter on the inner corner, so I'm gonna go into the Rimmel one and this very light colour here. we've got going on. So I'm going to put my foundation and things on and then come back. So this is where we're at so far. So I've kind of gone for a quite sort of bronzy honey kind of look and I used um, the Butter Bronzer in Sunkiss that the beautiful Katie Wesley gave me for my bronzer and for my blush I used my Chi Chi Ombre palette and I used this one here and for my highlight I used the Duro Light BH Cosmetics palette that Kelly also gave me and I used Double Take here this one because it's got a nice sort of goldy glow to it and then I'm going to finish off my eyes which really there isn't very much to do but I haven't got anything up here at all and I think I want to just blend that out a bit so I'm going to go into this color here iced coffee from the Sofix Revolution palette which I think would be the second shade in in the honey palette And then I'm going to go back into this one and get a little bit of this. Not on that brush though. And just a tiny bit of highlighting right up the top there. And then I'm going to go in with some mascara and choose a lipstick. So for my lips, I used the CoverGirl Melting Pout. This is in Jella Brittany, number 100. And I used my Wet n Wild Lip Liner Pencil in Brandywine. And I used my Chi Chi lipstick in Midas Touch, which is a gold lipstick. And I used my Rimmel Lip Art in Blush Gold, right in the very centre there. So there is my look one for my version of the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. So we're up to look two and today we've got to go more yellow I think. And so I'm going to start off again in the I Heart Mermaid's Heart one and get this shade here.
huh? And now I want to go in with those bright shimmer colors and I'm going to kind of do a gradient from the dark to the light shimmer and um, this was inspired by makeup Helena and I will um, link her channel above in the cards because she did a um, she did the honey palette as well, duping the honey palette. And the look she did, she was doing the graduation of the shimmers. And I really like the look, so I'm going to attempt to do the same. We used totally different colours because we've got different palettes. We didn't use the same palettes to dupe it, so. It's quite interesting to see just how close different people can get with different palettes. So it'll be interesting to see what Kitty uses to get the same kind of looks. And then I'm going to go into Love Signs by BH Cosmetics and this is the Cancer one. I might want to deepen out that outer corner a little bit. So I think let me get my list. The funny thing is that because I studied the honey palette quite a bit, I can't remember the names on them, but I know where the colours were, so I'm looking for sort of the greeny shimmer, the greeny honey coloured shimmer. In there, and so I have to look up what colours I used to <laughs> dupe that. So I used these two colours to dupe that. So that was um, Pine Tree from the Sofix palette, and this was from the Solar Flare palette. What was this one called? Ozone from the BH Cosmetics Solar Flare. So I'm going to mix those together. Underneath today, I'm going to go in with a green liner. So I'm using my LA Girl Glow On Liner in Limelight, which needs sharpening, so I shall do that. So that's looking really bright green, but then I'm going to go into that colour like I used in the outer corner. over the top of it to add a pop of something different underneath and then I think I'll go back into the Classy Cakes Kella Lily which is a dupe for the honey colour now tight line in black and we're going to use my black liner and I'm not doing a wing today I've just done a bit of black the top of the lashes and I just drop that. Mess the container all together and it's dropped down the back of my desk. <laughs> so what's in? <laughs> and then I think I want some of this colour just under here a little bit. So I'm on a smudgy brush. Yeah I did say in the last video that I didn't have a yellow eyeliner so I used the orange instead but I forgot I do have a yellow <laughs> and it's a Colourpop one but um the other Colourpop ones I have are the newer ones that are all coloured so they're easy to spot and this one's white with just the colour on the end so it was sitting like this and I didn't realise <laughs> that it was yellow. So I, I forgot I had that yellow which um was kind of annoying but never mind. So I'm gonna try I'm going to clean my waterline first and then I'm not going to put it in the waterline. So I've got my blush on already. So for my blush today, I actually went into my Nudes for BYS palette and I used Baby Peach. 
So that's actually an eyeshadow, but I used it for my blush. I used my better bronzer in Sunkiss that I got from Handy Weasley. And now I need some highlighter. I'm going to try my highlighter to color from BYS and go into this bit. And I haven't got my mascara on, so I better not forget to do that. So I've got my mascara on, and on my lips I've got my Midas Touch Chi Chi lipstick. And I'm going to just try something. This could be a disaster, but I'm going to go into Killer Lily from Classy Cake Cosmetics. And I'm going to put a little bit on my brush, highlighting. I just want a little pop of that yellow. Use my highlighter to blend in with that yellow on my eyes and I want to put a little bit of it on my lips just in the middle to kind of match up my eyes and my lips and Sandra's formula, the Classy Cat Cosmetics formula, nearly all of her colours you can use anywhere on your face. I cheated a bit now. <laughs> I, I wanted something lighter in here and the highlighter wasn't doing it for me so I actually went into my BYS Prismatic palette and I got this colour here Glory and just put the tiniest little bit just in here. So now we're really getting a gradient from light to dark. And that is look number two. Now we're on to look three. Now, after doing a couple of looks with this palette, I've decided there's one colour missing in my rendition of the palette. And um, I think if I had the real palette, I'd probably get the look I wanted with it. But I think with what I've got, I'm not getting it. And that is that base colour that has the kind of orange undertone when you buff it out because all my matte colours, I mean the matte colours, are kind of a lot more mustard like like this and I wanted something with just a little bit more orange in it and when you look at the pan it looks like it's mustard yellow but then when I see people buffing it out on their eyes it just goes a bit more orange on their eyes and I feel like I'm missing that so I'm going to go into Sequoia from the California Love palette and I'm going to use that to get that kind of orange look that I'm after. Now I can't guarantee that my dupes will be exactly the right colour but I think they're close enough to get an idea. Hmm. And then I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights palette and I'm going to go into 24K, which I think was, there was that kind of peachy bronze colour that kept looking different in every video I saw it and I wasn't sure exactly what colour it was, but this is um, the one that I think, I'm not exactly certain, but I think dupes HBAC. That 
glitter, glitter bronze colour matches that eyeshadow. Yeah. Perfectly. <laughs> and I'm just going to do some liner, but I'm not doing a wing today. So I'm going to put my cheek stuff on and things. <laughs> A very concise way of describing it. <laughs> so I've already got my foundation on, but I haven't done anything else but my foundation and palette. So I'll put that on and come back. So I've done my cheek products. Hopefully you can see that because what I need in real life is often less than what I would have on camera because you can't see it. So I'll turn down the light if that helps at all. So I'm looking very goldy on my cheeks today because I wanted to really go honey. So I, I used the Revolution makeup blush called Golden Sugar and I used a mixture of this one here and this one here. And I haven't actually really used this one much and I've never used those particular colours before. But I thought they made a nice honey coloured blush for me today. And they're both glowy. And then I went over it with my highlighter to highlight them. Just put a pop of highlighter in the Colour Whisper from BYS. And now I'm going to spray my face. Actually, before I do my mascara, before my face dries, I'm going to just do my little extra pop of highlighter. And I'm going to use my LA Girl Strobe Light in 60 watt because it's quite yellow and there is my final look and for my lips I used my Rimmel lip pencil in tiramisu and I put that around the edges and then I went in with my Chi Chi lightest touch lipstick which I know I used in all three looks but it's a honey coloured lipstick how could I not <laughs> so I used that one and um, now I am going to the hairdresser to get my hair done, which I haven't had done for ages and ages and ages. So I will come back with my final thoughts on the honey palette and the looks and do I want to buy it and all that kind of stuff. And um, tell you what I think and I can show you my hair. <laughs> so I'll be back in a minute. And so I'm back from the hairdresser and um, I'm, I may need to apologise for the last clip because when I took my camera off I realised I hadn't plugged my microphone on. I, I had plugged it on me but I hadn't put it in on the camera so the sound might not be that great for that one. But here's what my hair is looking like now. Got copper and blonde and brown. And you've got a bonus of a different eye look with the Urban Decay Naked Honey Dupe palette that I made because um, they were doing a complimentary eyebrow shaping at the same time. So um, I decided I'd do that since it was complimentary and um, so therefore I had to redo my makeup when I got home because all my hairline, the foundation had come off it of course and then half of my eyeshadow was off so I just took it off and redid it so you get an extra look with the pop of yellow so thank you very much Kelly for agreeing to collab with me and dupe the honey palette now here's a few of the colours in here and the rest are in various palettes which I've already shown you and um as I said in the in the last look, I felt like I needed something a little bit more orangey, so I added in that California Love and this colour here, Sequoia, Sequoia, ah, Sequoia. I said it fine last time, but now now I can't say it. <laughs> so, um, what are my final conclusions? I think I actually really like the Honey palette. Do I want to do yellow looks all the time? No. 
but I think you can get some really nice looks out of it and I think it's quite well balanced as well that palette duping it was harder than I thought but I'm quite happy just to have the dupe of it I don't need to go and buy it what would have been a lot easier doing the looks is if I could have put all the stuff in one palette and that's the thing about when you're duping it if you can dupe it from singles and things and put it all in one palette that's a lot easier than having to go into a whole lot of different palettes because um, I forget which colours I was taking out or I forget which palette they were in or, or you haven't got the colour story right in front of you to say okay I'm going to do this look so I wouldn't dupe every single palette I wanted but um, it, it's, it's definitely an interesting exercise and I get to play with the colours without spending the money and say would I use that enough to buy it and I don't think I would use it enough to buy it because I can get the same kind of look without buying it and I really like the honey kind of shades and I think I would like it with the Colourpop uh, honey palette as well because then I could do the yellow mattes which the Urban Decay one doesn't have any yellow mattes so um, it was really fun and an interesting exercise and um, I really enjoyed playing with the colours and I was surprised that it wasn't as easy as I thought to do. Some of those colours are actually fairly unique in my collection because I don't have a lot of those duochrome type colours and a lot of those shimmers were like that. And please go and follow Kitty J Havoc and I will leave her down in the cards and I will down <laughs> I will leave her in the description box and up in the cards. And um I can't remember what I said about you, Kitty, at the beginning of the video because that was quite a few days ago because I've done several looks. <laughs> so if I repeat myself, I am really sorry. But Kitty is such a wonderful person to watch and I always smile when I see her videos coming up in my feed because I love to watch her and she's funny and she does beautiful colourful looks and she likes to have a conversation with you and you'll probably find that about all the people that I'm collabing with because I like to watch YouTube to make connections and just listen to a person <laughs> so <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> yeah, I, I know we're all people but, <laughs> but I, I just I want to feel like it's a friend on the other side that's that's what I go for and with Kitty I definitely feel like that and she is such a sweetie and I love her to bits and I'm sure you will too so please go and check her out if you haven't already so that is me finished for today and um, what do you think about my new hairdo? She, um, she did some loose curls in it for me. This one is going a bit weird because <laughs> I walked out of the hairdresser and looking all nice and it was blowing in chaos. <laughs> my hair got blowing everywhere but it still looks pretty. You can see the colour it is anyway. I'm a bit stripey. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!